昨天晚上。This story has been updated with test results for both the UX200 and UX250H hybrid models. The Cadillac Cimarron, a dressed-up Chevrolet Cavalier from the 1980s, has been the butt of jokes for decades. But today, no automaker is above slapping a luxury badge on a front-wheel drive economy car and jacking up the price. Audi, BMW, and Mercedes-Benz all do it now with various entry-level models. Even Aston Martin dabbled in the dark art with a Signet City car. Lexus tried and failed once at this entry luxury game. It turned out there wasn't much demand for the mildly luxe stuff Prius that was the CT200H hybrid hatchback or, worse, the ungainly HS250H. But everybody wants crossovers nowadays, so that's what Lexus's new starter model is. For its latest dalliance with low-cost luxury, Lexus wisely hues closer to modern buyers' preferences, proffering the new UX crossover. The UX is essentially a Toyota underneath, using the same underpinnings as the CHR and the same base powertrain as the Corolla hatchback, but it incorporates the key tenet, plastic padding, all-wheel drive availability, and the L badge, that those Toyotas lack. Smaller than the other small Lexus SUV, the UX slots in below the NX in the Lexus lineup, it's about 5 inches shorter, 5 inches lower, and 1 inch narrower. That means it's about the same size as the Audi Q3, the BMW X1, and the Mercedes-Benz GLA, but because the larger NX competes with those cars, too, Lexus insists that price is the differentiator between the two siblings. The UX starts at $33,025. That undercuts the NX by more than $4,000 while offering more standard features than the German competitors, which come sparsely equipped in their base forms. Numerous active safety systems and Apple CarPlay are standard on the UX but cost thousands extra on the BMW X1, for instance. Even nicely equipped versions of the UX that Lexus sent us for testing cost reasonable amounts. A UX250H hybrid with a fair amount of equipment stickered at $38,240, while an essentially fully loaded UX200 with its sport-oriented F-Sport package, pictured, rang up at $41,285, nearly $10,000 less than the last Mercedes GLA 250 we tested. Even though it's being pitched as a low-priced Lexus, the UX does a better job of imitating the luxury quotient of its bigger siblings than the German Mini Utes do. A nice mix of materials inside includes expensive feeling plastics, soft faux leather, and an interesting trim piece on the dash that is meant to evoke a type of Japanese paper. Unfortunately, the frustrating infotainment touchpad carries over from other Lexus models. Curiously, the volume and tuning knobs have been relocated from the center stack to the center console and are little wheels that are supposed to be easily flickable by the fingers of a hand resting at the end of the armrest. It seems logical, but the layout takes some getting used to, and we're not sure it's better than having knobs on the dashboard. Outsize outside, not inside. The UX's small footprint is a limiting factor for cargo capacity, and packaging is not this vehicle's strong suit. The hatch opening is small with an uncomfortably tall lift over height, and there's not much space to be had overall, just 17 cubic feet in the hybrid model and 22 in the standard version. Granted, most of the vehicles in this class don't shine in this respect, although the BMW X1 boasts 27 cubic feet of cargo space. In the boxy Volvo XC40 offers 32 cubes. Lexus has gone far outside the box with the UX's styling and has applied a surfeit of flourishes for such a small package, perhaps to ensure that it won't be mistaken for a Toyota. It surely won't be, but it's also far from pretty. On the other hand, interesting color choices, including a green and an orange for the exterior and a two-tone blue and white interior option, help give the UX more youthful energy than other Lexus models can offer. We think the brighter colors show off the crossovers surfacing the best. Behind the Facade
If the X is a commuter car under its funky skin, it's a good car to drive. We continue to be impressed with the dynamic qualities of Toyota models that tried on the brand's TNGA family of platforms, and the Ux's chassis boasts progressive feeling steering, nicely tuned damping, and a satisfying sense of quiet refinement. It is a shame that the best version we sample, the UX200 with the F Sport package, won't be available in the United States with the adaptive dampers that were featured on the European example we drove. In the States, the F Sport package brings the tuned suspension along with a few visual upgrades and more support than seats. The power trims are less than The front will drive only UX200 169 for solid 2.0 liters. Which works well enough, this combo has nothing on the German Mini Cross or his strong turbocharged fours. The UX250H's hybrid drivetrain offers a total of 175 horses in modest all wheel drive capability, courtesy of a small electric motor lash to the rear axle, which only works at speeds of 45 miles per hour. It's quiet in the past and yet, but still doesn't feel like a big alarm. Regardless, in our testing, both Uxes were thrifty, the UX200 averaged 28 miles per gallon with us and returned 35 miles per gallon on our 75 mile per hour highway fuel economy test, while the hybrid hit 31 miles per gallon both for its overall average and its highway fuel economy run. Our more cynical side wants to deride Lexus for pandering to badge snobs with a vehicle that amounts to little more than a dressed up pick in a box. But all the cool kids are doing it these days, and the Huxp is mostly convincing in its impersonation of a premium product, thanks to its plush interior, agreeable demeanor, and, oh yes, even utilizing more.